Enshrouded has had its first early access update and it's a banger. Plenty of content awaits and today we're going to look at the new dungeons and the new building pieces. This video was sponsored by the folks over at Keen Games, make sure you check the link in the description to get Enshrouded for yourself, become Flameborn and forge your path through the corrupting fog to reclaim the beauty of your lost kingdom, either alone or with up to 16 friends. So let's get into the update. Hollow Halls comes with a whole host of patch notes and a 3 minute dev video highlighting the major changes. There are far too many to list but amongst them are UI improvements, crafting fixes and adjustments, pings for multiplayer, massive performance improvements, new decorations, oh and a new dungeon in every biome, new quests, enemies, weapons, building blocks and even a new survivor. Now if you want to get straight into the meat of things you want to make a start for the Hollow Halls. Chat to the Alchemist and he'll get you started with the Springlands Hall. Head over there to start off the dungeon and, let me tell you, you will want to come prepared. This is the easiest of them all and I'm pretty much at the end game so I was killing stuff fairly fast but this is by no means a 5 minute expedition. These dungeons take quite a long time to clear and they weave puzzles, exploration, combat and a bunch of other things together for a really broad and unique experience that was a whole lot of fun. I also ran the hall in Revel Woods after this, that was considerably harder and took about 40 minutes to clear and I've still got dungeons left to go. And Trailer's combat is pretty smooth, and if you like it and you want to be challenged, these dungeons will throw everything they have at you, including new enemies, massive swarms of skeletons, traps and more. What makes this even better are the performance improvements. Enshrouded ended up running okay for me prior to this patch, with the right settings I could be at 50 to 60 FPS consistently. However now, I don't know what they've done, but the performance jump is tangible. On the same settings as before, I was getting between 75 and 85 FPS in the overworld, and between roughly 85 to 100 in the dungeon, depending on what I was doing. These dungeons are great, they bear a ton of rewards, but one of the most interesting rewards are the new building pieces, and if you wanted something snazzy from these halls, well, they deliver. Not only does this update introduce round doors and windows for your hobbit homes, it also adds entirely new tile sets. In the first two halls, I found two new sets, those were the Hollow Hall block and the Red Marble block. Hollow Hall is pretty easy to get, it's just stone and tar, but Red Marble, bit of a pain to farm, as you actually have to get marble chunks from inside the halls, but it's another reason to head back in and take on that content. Anyway, these new building blocks. They're pretty unique compared to most stuff in the game already, especially the red marble. I wanted to give them a try so I set up a flame altar near the Revel Woods and decided to put together a little test build. How do they perform? Well, let me show you. Admittedly, it's not going to be for everyone depending on the aesthetic you like, but I love these pieces. Hollow Hall has a really nice tonal balance with that underlying, almost rusted red kind of tone with the greyish stone, where red marble really shines as a highlight, it's got stark black borders and that blood red tone that works really well. Much like many other examples, the Hollow Halls are actually built from these materials, so it's a faithful reconstruction right in your hands ready to use. The pieces look beautiful, they work really well together and the stark tonal difference between these and what was in the game prior makes these blocks really unique. I mix these blocks with a bit of shroud wood just for a bit of textural difference, but in general I think these new blocks are great. I haven't had a chance to clear the dungeons past the Revel Woods one yet, so there might be even more new blocks out there. On a related note, I also forgot to mention the new survivor you get from the halls. I headed back to my base in the Kindle Wastes and summoned him. His name is Alden Crowley the Collector and he's a very ominous man. 
He allows you passage through the other halls, lets you craft new spells and arrows, and he'll also teach you how to build some rather spooky decorations too. I unfortunately didn't get a chance to experiment with them in time for this video, but they would fit very well inside a build made of those new building pieces we just looked at. Hollow Halls is Enshrouded's first major update since it released back in January, and to be honest, they've knocked it way out of the park. There's a lot of new playable content, new enemies, tons of fixes and genuine improvements across the board, new decorations and building pieces, optimizations that really make a difference, and plenty more. If this is the barometer of quality for Enshrouded's future updates, the bar is incredibly high. Prior to this, I cleared all that Enshrouded had to offer in about 80 hours, and took a break just under a month ago I think to wait for the next update, and I can say for certain, Hollow Halls will definitely pull me back in. And there we have it, Enshrouded's first update hitting the ground not only running, but sprinting. Thank you again to Keen Games for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. Don't forget to check the link in the description if you like what you've seen today and want to play Enshrouded for yourself. It's a very fun game, I do highly recommend it. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed Coffee Cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. There was a ton of content from this update that just couldn't make it into this video, so if you are intending to play with this new update, there's a ton of secrets to discover and fun to be had in the new Hollow Halls. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.